Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Hi, hi. Thank you. Great. Did you have a good weekend? I much work. A lot of work. All right. What about you, Carla? Did you have a good weekend? Yes, teacher. I checked the platform. Oh, really? That's nice. Yes. Which, uh, which section are you working on? Finish two sections. Section one and two? Yes. Okay, you need to work section three. Today we finish that section. Yes, teacher, I know. That's okay. And the rest of you, how are you doing with the platform, Florland? Good evening, teacher. I, I finished uh, the section number three. Ah, okay, that's nice. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, did you take the midterm exam? Yes, teacher. Really? <laughs> wow. Really? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Did you get a 10? Okay, no, nice. No, 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 listen, teacher. Repeat me, please. Um, how was the test? What was your grade? Uh, it was my test. Yes? It's a difficult teacher. Difficult, but, but uh, I slowly. Okay, nice. What was the most difficult part for you? Uh, the section number two. No. Uh, uh, I don't remember, teacher, but no, I, I can't. Okay, maybe you can check the platform one more time and then you tell me uh, if you would like to review a, a, a specific topic. Okay. In the section number three, number two, I have, I had a problem for me. I had a problem and no, I finished, but no, it's uh, 80. 80 percent, no, no, 100 percent, 80. Okay, but uh, were your answers correct? No. No. Maybe you can check that part and then you tell me if you want to review that part, but I need to know exactly what was going wrong with that part. For me, the problem is the uh, platform teacher. Ah, okay. The, the question is was uh, only listen, listen. I write and, and I think it was correct, but the platform no, no correct. There is a section I don't remember if it is in the in this group in the intermediate. But I think that there is one section that you have to make the question, but you don't have to, to put the question mark. Because if you place the question mark, the platform automatically gives you the answer like wrong. That does maybe. Maybe you can try. Tomorrow, you help me, please, teacher. Yes, write to me or write to the group and, and we will help you okay, to check what, what's the, the matter there. Okay, yes. teacher, thank you. Okay, and what about the rest of you? How are you doing with the platform? You should have completed section one, two, and section three. And section three, complete. Okay, the good. Only problem in section number two. Okay, let us check it tomorrow. Okay, Send us okay. a message, okay, and a screenshot. Okay. Thank you, teacher, thank you. Okay, what about the rest of you? Did you have a good weekend? Did you complete the platform, section one, two, three? Volunteers? 
Yes, teacher, I complete that session. Okay, perfect. Did you have any inconvenience with that? Mm, no, sometimes it's so, so complicated because you have to point. You need to be patient. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But uh, it's not the topic, it's the platform itself. Uh huh, and sometimes it's slow, the platform. Yeah, I, I know, I know. We gotta be patient. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, the last topic that we studied was the uh, how to make comparisons, right? How to compare two things. That's what we were talking about in the last class. So. For the ones who haven't checked the platform, I'm going to play the video so you can refresh that topic. Let me share my screen with you. All right. And, um, Okay, let us check the video in order to review the topic. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you in last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than small smaller than this dress is smaller than the other one i recommend for you to study the adjectives in english in its comparative form so you're able to compare anything you want i also want you to work with this cheap old and new these are adjectives find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives write them down in our discussion box Okay, that was the video, uh, just to refresh the knowledge about the last class. Uh, did you, did you uh, write any or did you share any sentence in the discussion form? In the video, they ask you to write sentences making comparisons using the adjective cheap, old, and new. And you can um, write it in the discussion form. Did you do that? No, teacher. No. That is a nice way to practice. So if you haven't, you can do it. Write in your, the discussion form three sentences, uh, making comparison, uh, for example, with chip. Um, you may write, uh, I don't know, Chinese food is cheaper than Mexican. Perfect example. And then you're practicing also. Well, about the comparatives, uh, we also shared a chart. Yeah. Yeah, I sent that to your WhatsApp group and we were discussing how to form the comparatives, right? 
So you already have this material. Remember that with one syllable adjectives, we just add ER or only R at the end in case that the adjectives end with E, you just add R. And after the adjective, you need to place than. And we have the examples there. But if there are with uh, adjectives with two or more syllables, we need to add more adjective than without ER, okay? Just remember that. And then we have these other two rules. It says that if the adjectives end in Y, we need to change it, replace it for I and add ER and then done, right? And the last one, if it is, um, if, if it has an ending with a consonant, vowel, and consonant, and the syllable is stressed, we need to double the last consonant at ER and done, right? To practice that, um, we are going to complete this exercise in your notebooks. And remember that there are some irregular adjectives and the most common are good, it changed to better. Good changed to better, and then we add done. Bad changes to worse. And far changes to further or further is the same, right? Remember the rules and try to complete this exercise in your notebook. In this case, you have to fill in the blanks and complete the sentences with the adjectives that you have in brackets. For example, here we have the adjective tall. So I have to complete the sentence and say, I am taller than my sister. We need to use the verb to be also. Am, um, is, are, then the adjectives, and now we're done. So try to complete this exercise in your notebook, and then we're going to check. I'll give you, uh, I think that 10 minutes, probably it's okay. Then we're going to check the answers.
Have you finished? Not yet. Not yet, me. Mm -hmm. Uh, let us check your answers. Has everybody finished? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Let's check. There were 14, well, wow, 15. Okay, here you have the answers. The first one was already done. I'm taller than. Then in number two, busier making the change of Y. Harder with oh, WT. Yeah. Yes, harder uh, than with WT. Yes. Uh, larger than, bigger than with WG. WG. Uh -huh. In this case, more exciting than. Yeah. It's Are better than. Uh-huh. Are healthier than are nicer than, are more dangerous than, is farther, or you can also write is further than, and there is no difference, is worse than, are faster than, are funnier than, are more nervous than. Okay. The number 12, teacher. Number 12, worse. Worse. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh -huh, because bad is irregular. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, and Thank bad you. changes to worse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can I see the number 14? Yes, 14. Funnier. Yes. yes, you should change it because it, it ends in Y. Remember that it ends with Y, you change it to I, and it are then. Yeah. Were your answers correct? 
Only 14. Oh, but that is very, very good. Very good. Excellent. Now. The number A. Why is healthy and has two syllables? Why? Uh, Why? Healthy. Healthy, two syllables. Yes, two syllables. Healthy. More? More, more healthy, no. Healthier. Healthier. Uh -huh. Healthier than. Healthy. I don't understand, teacher. In Spanish, tiene dos, dos sílabas. Healthy. Funny. No, healthy. Healthy. Okay, it is included in other room. Yes. Is the number? Uh -huh, because, uh -huh, because they end in Y, both healthy and funny. They change Y. Yeah. So they go here. And they apply this rule. They have it. Uh -huh, okay, because of, of the Y. Mm -hmm. Because of this letter, we apply this rule because of the Y. We apply this. Aquí dice, eh, para, a veces es un poco difícil en, en inglés, entonces la regla dice en, esta, en este chart que si los adjetivos con dos sílabas y terminan en Y, le aplicamos esa regla de cambiar la Y por Y latina y agregar ER. Uh -huh. Que es el caso de healthy. Termina en Y y también funny. Son de dos sílabas, como dice aquí, adjetivos de dos sílabas que terminan en Y. Se cambia la Y por Y latina, se agrega ER. Es esta regla la que están siguiendo ellos. BC, ajá, es el mismo caso. BC. Yes. Uh -huh. Ahí se aplica esta regla. Bici es bicier. Bicier. También oh. se le cambia la, aunque, ajá, se le cambia. Aunque tenga eh. las dos sílabas, pero que, que tenga la regla esa. Porque Acaba terminan en Y. Al terminar en Y, se aplica la de la ER. Ajá. Ah, okay. Si no okay. tuvieran Y, entonces sí le pondríamos more. Sin cambiar el adjetivo y luego dan. Pero como terminan en Y, se les aplica esta. Esta se lo voy a mandar también para que, que tengan ahí por escrito. ¿Sí quedó claro? Sí, sí. Gracias, teacher. Sí, yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Entonces están listos para el examen. <risa> Veamos, ¿cómo les iría si hiciéramos un quiz de esto? Ya les fue bastante bien en la práctica. Entonces, eh, este dice quiz, pero acuérdense que lo único que se les evalúa es lo que ustedes hacen en la plataforma. Esto es nada más para reforzar y para solventar dudas, para ampliar el conocimiento, ¿verdad? Lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, solventando dudas y ampliando el tema. Entonces, ahí en su cuadernito, esto los que ya tienen ratito saben, solo escriban el número. Y la respuesta que ustedes creen que es la correcta, por la que completaría acá. Por ejemplo, aquí dice, Australia is big, but Canada is Australia. Entonces, ¿cuál completa ahí mejor? Big, biggest o bigger than? A, B, or C. Sí. Bigger than. Sí, sí. Ajá. Sí. Letter C, la letra C, bigger than. 
Entonces ustedes escriben en su cuaderno number one, sí. One, sí. Solo la, el número y la respuesta y yo al final se los mando el documento. Ahorita solo copiando así. Y uh, este es el uno, luego va el dos, para abajo el tres. Yo voy a estar pendiente de ir bajando para que lleguen hasta el ocho. Y luego lo vuelvo a subir para que hagan nueve, diez y lo que siguen. ¿eh? Ok. Uh, teacher, puede subir la imagen un poquito. Thank you.
Okay, finished. 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 Finish. Finish. Okay, ready. Let's check the answers. Okay. Check your answers as you see the video. Question number one. Australia is big, but Canada is bigger than Australia. Question number two. David is 185 centimeters tall. He is taller than Andrew. Question number three. I think that summer is better than winter. Question number four. My brother thinks this restaurant is worse than my brother thinks that this restaurant is worse than that restaurant. Question number five. Do you think math and science? Um, you think math and science are more difficult than history and English? Question number six. In my opinion, these in my opinion, this pink dress is prettier than that green dress. Question number seven. This summer was much hotter than summer. This summer was much hotter than last summer. Hotter than. Question number eight. Did you know crossing on this street is more dangerous? Did you know that crossing a busy street is more dangerous than flying in an airplane? Question number nine. More delicious than... Patrick thinks that chocolate cake is more delicious than banana cake. Question number ten. Heavier. Asian elephants are heavy, but African elephants are even heavier. Question number 11. It's older. My uncle is taller than my father, but my father is older. Question number 12. It's more relaxing. Reading a book with a nice hot cup of tea is more relaxing than doing exercise. Question number 13. Comedy movies are okay, but I think that action movies are better. Question number 14. It's more expensive. Taking a taxi to work is more expensive than taking a bus to work. Question number 15. 
are nicer than Saturdays are nicer than Mondays because I don't have to go to school. Question number 16. Question number 15 was easier than question number 14, right? Okay, how many good answers did you have? Well, 16. 16. 13. Okay. 13. <laughs> 8.1 Okay, very good. En la 11 me la clase pasada les mencionaba que cuando va al final no le ponemos dan. Creo que hay dos así. La 10 y la 11. La 10 y la 11, ¿verdad? Ellas son así. Ah, cuando va al final, no se le pone el dan. El dan es como decir que. Entonces aquí, my uncle is taller than my father. But my father is older. Older. Ajá, y era older. Ya no is older than, porque ya va, ahí termina la oración con older. Ok. Y lo mismo aquí en la 10. Como aquí termina la, la oración, ya no lleva el dan. El dan se omite cuando va al final en, en la comparación. Uh -huh. Miss, I have a question, but the, the verb to be is, is always is if, uh, after after the the last adjective or, or word. No siempre es is, dependerá del sujeto. Me pregunta si siempre se va a poner is. Uh, for example, the, the last sentence said, uh, uh, is older or older? En la última. Uh -huh. the, the, about the dude that you was talking. The 14, 14. 14, this one. Taking a taxi to work is more expensive than taking a bus to work. Yes. No, about the, the sentence say that um, about the father, I don't remember what number it is. Ah, what? la que decía del padre. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. Okay, me preguntas con el verbo to be. Es esta la once, ¿verdad? Sí, esa. Ajá. Um, mi duda es si es the letter A or the letter C. Because in the letter C. A. Ah, okay. La correcta es la C porque el verbo to be siempre va, el am, is, are siempre va antes del adjetivo comparativo. Lo que no se pone cuando va al final de la oración es esto, es el dan. Okay. Eso no se pone cuando ya va al final el comparativo, que es okay. lo que sucede en la 10 y en la 11. Thank you, Ms. Ok. Thank you. Any other question? Si nos puede mandar las, eh, las oraciones para poder trabajar, porque 
yo estoy un poco perdida, voy a trabajar mañana en esto. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, le voy a mandar todo lo que hemos visto ahorita en la clase, se lo voy a mandar. Acuérdense que solo es de ir, bueno, escribiendo con las reglas. Ahí, por ejemplo, uh, si usted quiere decir, um, uh, I don't know, que... Si yo le quiero decir, mi libro es más viejo que el tuyo, entonces sería my book. Verbo to be. El adjetivo con er. Older than. Than. El possessive, than yours. My book is older than yours. Ok. Aquí le estoy diciendo, mi libro es más viejo que el tuyo. ¿Ya? Estoy comparando. Sí. Es, es, es sencillo, pero si, si yo digo, ok, aquí como no va al final, le pongo el dan. Pero puedo decir a mi hermano, my brother, Uh, si quiero decir que él es más alto que mi hermana, my brother is taller than my sister. Ok, él es más alto que mi hermana, pero mi hermana younger. Punto. Ya ahí termino la oración. Ya no pongo otra vez than my brother, uh -huh. porque ya se sabe acá, my brother is taller than my sister. Ok. But my sister is younger. Ahí terminó la oración. Ya aquí ya no le necesito poner el than, porque entonces tengo que seguir otra vez than my brother. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero como ya se sabe que estoy hablando de él, ya no le pongo el than my brother. Ya sé que es lo que estoy comparando. Entonces lo dejo ahí. Okay. Sí. Eso lo es práctica. Es de ir viendo las reglas. Ahora digo yo. Ah, voy a practicar los adjetivos irregulares. Porque esos como no siguen regla. Ah, voy a empezar con bad. ¿Cómo es bad en comparativo? Worse. 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 Ajá. Entonces, eh. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué puede ser con words? The football team. Ah, you can say a football team. Yo no le voy a eso del fútbol, no me gusta. Así que no vayan a pensar de que, de que pues, solo por dar el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos decir real. No quiero meterme en problemas. Por eso les especifico que no me gusta el fútbol. De la iglesia. Le dijeron que los mandara a traer a Estados Unidos porque los de aquí son chinos. Bueno, worse. pero no sé, tiene sobrepeso de ahí como para la espalda. Supuestamente. Tan para tan el impacto es mejor para en Barcelona. Right. Sí, sí. Ok. Real Madrid is worse than Barcelona. Fútbol club. Ajá. Entonces ya practiqué con el irregular, ahora better. Y así solo hay que ir practicando y tomando los ejemplos. Ya tienen varios ejemplos. Les voy a mandar el material para que vean todos los ejemplos que tienen ahí. Y recuerden, ¿verdad? Que... Uh, ¿Qué reglas se van aplicando? Lo mejor es práctica. Práctica, práctica, práctica. Eso es solo práctica. Eh, ustedes lo están haciendo súper bien. Eh, me alegra que muchos eh, ya estamos a mitad del curso y tenemos bastantes todavía participando. Y están haciendo muy bien su trabajo, están haciendo el trabajo extra, están practicando. Eso depende mucho de, de cuánto tiempo usted le dedique a la práctica. Entonces esto es práctica y van a llevar un montón de ejemplos de este tema 
y vivimos comparando. Ese, eso es bien eh, importante, este tema. Entonces hay que ponerle bastante práctica. Al final de la clase, bueno, tipo diez y media, quizás le voy a mandar todo <ríe> lo que vimos para que lo tengan okay. ahí. No problem. Ah, es que usted termina a las 10, ¿verdad? Con el a otro grupo. A las 10 termino con el otro. Sí. Por eso ahí, ahí lo dejan en silencio para no estarlo despertando. Ok. Um, and we have a couple of exercises here uh, just to review. Ok. Um, a good example, your football knowledge is worse than mine. Excellent. <laughs> and then you can continue practicing. Um, you can also write in the discussion forum, write in your notebook. And this is uh, when we express preferences, we can ask questions like, for example, which and remember that we also use the um, demonstrative one and once if it is plural. Just let us listen in order to review. Page 20, exercise 10, grammar focus. Preferences, comparisons with adjectives. Which sweater do you prefer? I prefer the blue one. It's nicer than the green one. Which one do you like more? I like the blue one more. It's prettier than the green one. Which one do you like better? I like the blue one better. It's more stylish than the green one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. Ok, esto es básicamente lo mismo que, que ya veníamos viendo, ¿verdad? Para preguntar cuál, si estamos dando una opción, um, which, usamos which en preguntas, which sweater do you prefer, for example, I prefer the blue one, para no repetir la palabra sweater, para eso nos sirve el one, y um, once si es plural, right? Y aquí estamos haciendo uh, una poco más de información porque prefiero el azul, porque es, es más chivo que el verde. Now, spelling. Las reglas de spelling que ya las estudiamos solo para hacer un repaso. Si son adjetivos de una sílaba, por ejemplo, cheap, agregamos er y luego dan. Cheaper than, nice, nicer than. Uh, pero si terminan, eh, bueno, si son de dos sílabas, more, el adjetivo sin cambio y el dan. Pero si terminan en Y, se cambia la Y por Y latina y se, siempre el dan, sin el more dan, sino que es solo el cambio este. Si terminan en uh, vocal y consonante y hay estrés, Duplicamos la última consonante y agregamos ER. Ya eso es solo como un repaso final. Y así termina su sección número 3. Aquí hay algunos ejercicios. Los podemos hacer en casa. Para que tengan un poco más con qué practicar, les voy a mandar una foto de este ejercicio. Lo hacen en casa y mañana revisamos las respuestas. Y así me aseguro dejándoles tarea, que aunque sea la mitad la van a hacer. <ríe> y yo sé que algunos están trabajando, pero no todos. Entonces les voy a mandar una foto de este ejercicio. Lo hacen en casa y mañana lo revisamos. También les voy a mandar el material. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá. No. Mm. Any questions? No questions. Okay, so remember, I'm going to send you this. Le voy a mandar esto, la fotito de este ejercicio para que ustedes lo completen haciendo comparaciones. Y mañana vamos a revisar las respuestas. 
Igual le voy a mandar el material que compartí ahora en clases. Con esto estamos terminando la sección 3. Ajá. Acuérdense que tienen que completar la plataforma porque creo que ya van a empezar a, a, a revisar para inscribirlos al siguiente módulo. Tienen que tener completa la plataforma, por lo menos con una nota de, de 8. Y después de la sección 3 tienen el examen y el midterm exam. Es importante que también lo tengan ya hecho el examen de medio ciclo, de medio módulo. Y luego mañana empezamos la sección 4. ¿Sí? So, ok. Thank you for thank joining you. today's class. And thank you. I hope you, you sleep well. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you for being you. so good students and very responsible people. Very yeah. nice students. <laughs> okay, so I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care. Sleep well. See ya. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. See you. See you.